What's up, Southeast? I'm your host, Jamar Williams, and this is your broadcast for March 12th, 2020. Let's get started. What's up, Southeast? 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 First, let's hear from Heather and Whitney with social media check. Baby, come give me something on. Come give me something. Wait. Run the game, run the game, run the game. Go. Run the game. Go. 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 It's Time Rewind from March 12th. In 1912, Juliet Gordon Lowe gets 18 girls together in Savannah, Georgia to participate in team building activities. Today, that group is more than 3.2 million strong and known as the Girl Scouts of the USA. Newly inaugurated President Franklin Roosevelt delivers his first national radio address from the White House in 1933. It's designed to allay fears about the country's shaky economy. I want to talk for a few minutes with the people of the United States about banking. FDR delivers 30 more of these so-called fireside chats while in office to help sell various initiatives like the New Deal. At the White House 60 years later in 1993, Janet Reno is sworn in as the nation's first woman attorney general. President Bill Clinton welcomes her to the post. Most of all, you prove to the nation that you are a strong and an independent person who will give me your best legal judgment whether or not it's what I want to hear. <laughs> That's Time Rewind. I'm David Mendel. Now here's the latest news with Georgia. On March 10th, it was stated that there are now six cases of the virus being reported in Louisiana, all being in the New Orleans area. Patients suspected of infection are assisted by hospital staff. The staff that then request a state courier come pick up a sample that's sent to a state lab in Baton Rouge for testing. The Louisiana Department of Health will be notified of any presumptive positive results that come from a commercial lab. This has been Southeast Action News, signing out.